Hey folks, so today I'm going to quickly go through the um, controls on these Odyssey, Odyssey, Odys, whatever you want to call them, Maxwell headphones. Now these are the Xbox version um, and I see a lot of people have some confusion about some of the controls. So I'm going to tell you what I think my understanding is and uh, I'm not going to go through the fit and all the rest of it. This is just the controls on the headphones. Okay, so let's start with the, the straightforward. A little blue light, LED, multi-colored, multi-function LED tells us whether we're on, off, charging, low battery, whatever. We've got the noise suppression button here, which I'll show you in a second. We've got this little put hole, which is the external microphone right there. We've got the plug-in microphone, boom mic there, which is this baby here. We've got our USB connector for charging and so on and plugging in for updates into your laptop, PC, whatever. We've got an audio connector here. We've got game and chat mix volume button here, uh, which also doubles as the side tone button, which we're going to look at in a second. And then we've got the general volume button here, which also doubles as the EQ selection button. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to, I'm going to action these and I'm going to hold it against the microphone so you can hear what actually comes out of the headphones, okay? So we'll start with the noise suppression button here and I'm going to hold it to the, to the microphone so you can hear what it does. Noise suppression low. Okay, that's a single click. Noise suppression high. Single click. Noise suppression off. Single click. So we press it once each time, it toggles between off, noise suppression low, noise suppression high. Okay, so let's go to the the game mix button here, this one, and see what happens here. Now, when you just move this, it doesn't say anything. It, all it does, it, it makes like a beep, a low beep and a high beep to tell you whether you're at one end of the parameter or the other. That's about it really. But you can hear what's going on with this when you actually do it. But when we double press it, this is a weird one. We have to double press it and it'll say side tone on. Then you have to press it again to actually action the side tone function. So let's let's see what happens. Side tone on. Side tone on. Side tone. Side tone. Now you can alter it and it will alter the side tone. Side tone off. Side tone off. Double press again. So when it's on, so it's double press to activate, to tell it it's in side tone mode. It's single press to actually be able to alter the side tone. And when you alter that side tone, what I think actually happens, I thought it brought in some outside sound through the microphone or somewhere, but I think all it does is it sends a little bit of this volume into the headset so you can hear yourself a little bit more in these cans. Okay, let's go on to the master volume controller here. Again, pretty straightforward. It's either you master volume up or down. That's easy to work out. When we double press this, this goes into EQ mode and you'll hear what happens. EQ. Footsteps, EQ1, EQ2, EQ3, EQ4, Odyssey, treble boost, bass boost. Okay, so you can hear, you double click it, it goes into the EQ setting, you can flick through the different EQ settings, and then it automatically reverts back to, I think it automatically reverts back to uh, the normal volume control again. So those are the controls, guys. There's nothing spectacular about them, really, although they are a bit tricky to work out. Uh, just one other thing, obviously on the side, we've got the power on, power off button. I'll just show you that one quickly. Power off, power on. Okay, so that's the way that works here. Pretty simple, but again, much confusion, especially about the side turn function and the EQ buttons on here. But um, let me know what you think. I'm not gonna go into all the stuff about the headphones. Let's see how we go.